the radio still doesn't play right. Huh? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> What's funny? Well, a guy signs up for six years in the Navy, a zillion weeks of training in electronics, and still a gal can't get him to fix a radio. I'll fix it before I leave. <laughs> Great. Dear Bob, thanks for fixing the radio. It was very nice of you. It plays just fine. I think you're a very special man. It is pleasant to agree with an attractive girl. And in the case of Bob Wilson, and hundreds more like him, the Navy does agree. These are very special people, filling very special needs. They are the ones who make it possible for today's ships to see, to speak, to hear, to compute, to fight with the weapons of modern war on or under the sea. Very special men indeed, members of the advanced electronic field, vital parts of the electronic nervous system of the modern Navy. All hands to quarters for muster inspection and instruction. All hands to quarters for muster inspection and instruction. All right, man, we've got division duty today. Jones, your ET duty. Division, pan to it! Welcome to the Department of President Counterpoint, sir. Very well. Department of President Counterpoint, sir. Very well. Gentlemen, the day we have been anticipating arise tomorrow. You inform your leading petty officers that 0800 observers will arrive to conduct an operational readiness inspection. As you are well aware, an ORI is an annual competitive event used to grade us against other ships of our class. Cunningham is the best ship in the squadron. Let's prove it. Questions? Post. Operational readiness inspection. The time when every area, every piece of equipment is measured against the unrelenting standard of combat readiness. When you and your team prove the day-by-day -day efficiency of your own efforts. Martin, get up to the bridge and check out the captain's radar repeater. Okay, right away. You all set on the main power supply checkout, Graves? Looks all right to me. Reads okay on the test equipment. Good. Let's keep it that way. And that's the way it goes. Here, and in the nerve center of it all, the Combat Information Center, where all the systems come together, where each serves the other, and all serve the total organism that is the ship itself. Yes, Martin. What is it? Maybe you better have a look at the captain's repeater yourself. Something wrong? No, I don't think so. All right, let's take a look. Looks all right to me. It's just that it's seemed to come up a little slow. That's all. Well, it's nothing to sweat over, Martin. Is there something else on your mind? I was wondering if you might have a little time when we're through with our checkout. It's uh, a personal matter. We're just about checked out. Coffee? On the mess deck. Say half an hour? Fine. Combat Information Center, 
where when the chips are down, the ship is fought from, where each electronic system feeds the others, and all together feed the demands of the ship itself to carry out its mission. CIC, where you and the other very special men, the ones able to analyze, test, repair, and maintain the electronic nervous system, find a man's place doing a man's job. How you doing, Martin? Thanks for coming down, Wilson. Glad to be of help if I can. What's on your mind? It's about my future in the Navy. When I enlisted, I figured I'm putting in four years and then <laughs> getting out. Yeah. I had qualifying marks for the advanced electronics field, and my counsel even suggested it, but... Yeah, but six years seemed like a long time, right? Right. But after working with the guys in the radar gang, I'd like to put in for the full treatment. And you'd like to have some idea of what you're getting in for, is that it? Well, after all, <laughs> you've been there. Well, in that case, let's begin in the beginning. Okay. If you had gone in at the time of your recruit training, Martin, you would have extended your four-year enlistment to six years. Why? Because to develop the kind of man this Navy needs, that's the required time. As you know, you could come out wearing an electronic technician rating like mine, a data systems rating, a fire control technician rating, or his missile counterpart. Whether you hack one of those, or instead a gunner's mate missileman rating, a rating as sonar technician, a missile technician, or finally a communications technician. The accent is on one word, technician. Not a glorified screwdriver mechanic or repairman, but a man qualified to use test equipment, to analyze a problem, and to make the necessary repairs or adjustments. And you get a top flight education in electronics, one that you can't buy anywhere else in the world. Oh yes, you get something else too. Call it challenge. You'll get it first in your A school instruction, all the way from initial theory to practical work. Most of it on the same kind of gear you'll find on shipboard. One thing you will learn, and fast. The men doing the teaching are men who have been there, through school, in the fleet, and most of them called back to instruct, the way I could be myself, or you could be, someday. They have only one goal in mind, to make you able to do one of the big jobs that this Navy needs done. They know that when the chips are down, your discipline, judgment, and knowledge are going to be the things upon which the skipper of the ship will often have to depend. And when you move on into your advanced schooling, you'll specialize in communications, or in data systems, the brains for all the other systems, or radar. You work with the same gear you find aboard ship, and you get the same kinds of problems, months of them. Use the test equipment to find the problem and analyze it. Study it out in the schematic. Get it operating again, again and again, until you can do it in your sleep. Or the way we might have to do it in the ORI tomorrow, or in actual combat conditions. It sounds like a rugged course. It is, but it's well planned. Do your day's work every day, and you stand a good chance. And you can go a lot further. From advanced school, you can move into one of the C schools for training in specialized operations or maintenance. Another eight to 16 weeks. So that when you are ready for the fleet, you have the finest electronic education available anywhere today. Slice it any way you want. You've got everything going for you. A career in the Navy, and an education good enough to put you well up the ladder if you should decide to go back to civilian life later on. Bob could go on for quite a while. And if he did, here is one of the major points he would make, as made by the officer in charge of the school. You men are here because you are the best the Navy has, the best the country has to offer. To answer the question, every one of you in this room who completes his work here and maintains a clean military record 
should be a first-class petty officer at the end of his six-year enlistment. Some will make it sooner than that. The Navy is not only willing, but anxious to promote you. It has invested hundreds of millions of dollars into the finest electronic equipment. It needs men to keep it running as it was designed to run. You are those men. You can move up faster in this field than in any other field in the Navy. You may become eligible for a college program sponsored by the Navy, leading to a commission. It might interest you to know that the majority of the officers in this school came up through the enlisted ranks. All of us, at one time or another, sat in a room such as this. And the opportunity is available to you. The only limitation is the limitation that you place on yourselves. You take on a big responsibility to yourself, to your shipmates, to your commanding officer, to the Navy, and to your country. You are going to work hard, because if you do... You find out one thing, Martin, that nothing but yourself stands between you and any goal that you choose. More than anyone else, the Navy wants you to succeed. Well, there's just one thing bugging me. Yes? Can I hack it? Can I make it? I thought you were going to ask something new. Every man who begins the advanced electronic training course asks himself the same thing. You? Well, you've already shown through your test that you're qualified to join a select group of very special men. And if they've hacked it, there's no reason in the world why you shouldn't. Good luck. have a lot of names for ships, but to those who know and work them, a ship is an organism grown to do a special job, and the way that organism works depends on the men who work her, for without the men, a ship is a lifeless thing. With them, it is an eager, willing part of an overall capability called the Navy. To see where the ship is going is a primary requirement with radar eyes here, backed up by other eyes here in the central nervous system, through which all information must flow from the air, from under the sea, from hostile and friendly elements in this operation. Information coordinated, used, and distributed to the entire organism. Aye, aye, sir, right away. Martin! Yes. Stand by the phones. The bridge repeater's giving trouble. Okay. Electronic control, shifting phones. You wish there had been no trouble, but as you move toward the bridge, you figure the problem, sort out the possible answers and alternatives. You wonder, is this a true breakdown, or is it a test set up by the inspectors? You will never know the answer to that one. You hope it is an adjustment, it is up to you to know. You have seen this before. It is an adjustment, not overhaul or repair. And you work. And you work quickly and well. You know what you're doing. Once again, the ship has eyes to see with. We'll function properly now, sir. That was real fast service, Wilson. Thank you. As the ORI wears on, the nervous system functions as it should. Seeing at long range, at intermediate range, at target range for approaching aircraft. Answering the attack problem with information computerized, calculated in microseconds to meet the airborne threat. Preparing to fight back through electronic information supplied by gunfire control.
bearing its weapons against undersea attack, sensed and calculated by the electronic nerves of the ship, and coordinating the maneuvers with other ships through the voice of electronics, radio. And when the operational readiness inspection is over, secure the gear, put it on standby, you know that your ship is ready to meet any situation. And you wonder, wonder if your ship will wear the Navy E for competence. Because if it does, you know that a lot of the credit goes to a team of very special men, electronics men, men with a great responsibility in today's and tomorrow's Navy, and opportunities even greater, opportunities open to you now, today. We missed you at the beach this weekend. Everyone says hello. Thanks again for fixing the radio. I still think you're a very special man.